What's up guys, I'm Steven, and I'm a cyborg. Well, maybe not technically a cyborg, but I actually have a microchip implanted in my hand. I posted a video about this like years and years ago and I actually got it done. I get this monster needle jammed into my hand and I get implanted with a microchip. It's like kind of gnarly. Okay, take a big deep breath in. But it's also super cool. Anyway, the reason that I got the chip was so that I could get into my apartment, so I could build a system to unlock my door when it detected my chip, and then I didn't have to carry keys anymore. And I've been doing this for pretty much every single apartment that I've lived in since I got the chip. Including one time I put it on my dorm room door in college, and my RA thought it was a bomb and called the police. And then the fire marshal and the chief of police and the bomb squad came to my dorm. Oh my god, that was so bad. Ugh. But. Now I have my own apartment and I can do whatever I want with it. I made a little quick Instagram video about how I made this whole system for my old apartment uh, back in Pittsburgh. But I just moved. This is my new place and I want to set it up so I can get in with just my chip. I hate carrying keys and I have the chip. It's silly to not use it. So today I'm gonna look and see how I can integrate my system into the door. Also, if you don't believe me, here, I get better light. See that shadow? That is a microchip in my hand. The creepiest part is after I got it implanted, I had dreams about it trying to escape from my hand. <laughs> it was so creepy. Let's take a look at this door. I'm just gonna kind of focus on the deadbolt. Um, it has about a 90 degrees of rotation between locking and unlocking, which is great because that lets me use a servo which only has 180 degrees. That means I have plenty of stroke in the servo to articulate this thing. So I gotta find a way to mount a servo on this door somehow and then have it rotate this when the system reads my chip. I should also probably mention that the chip works with RFID, which is like if you go to the subway and you use that like contactless payment card, it's the same kind of thing. The chip is like totally unpowered right now, it's dead. But then when you put an electromagnetic field near it, it will power it inductively through my skin, just like the wireless charging phones. You just like put it on that pad and it just starts to charge. Same thing, it will like power it through my skin, just long enough for the chip to say, this is my code. And then after it sends the code, it dies again. <laughs> so it comes alive just long enough to say its name and then boom, it's dead. So my chip has a 10 digit name that when it gets powered up, that's what it yells out into the void. And that's what my whole system looks for. If it detects a chip that yells that name, it'll unlock the door because it knows it's me. This was my old system from my last apartment. So I'm gonna see how much of this I can re- Oh, here's my Google Home Mini. I was looking for this thing. I'm gonna see how much of this I can reuse for this system so I don't have to reinvent the wheel. It's really fun to go back and look at how I worked on old projects and be like, that was so dumb because it means that like I've learned and gotten better since then. But it's also like, that was so dumb. Like why would I have done it that way? This is the first piece I'm keeping. This is a panel that has my logo on it that I hung on the front of the door and it actually has the RFID reader panel embedded on the inside. So it looks pretty normal, just like a decoration, but it's actually the reader, which is pretty sweet. And then this is a hobbled together circuit that I made just on some perf board that actually does the reading. It listens to the RFID reader and then it also controls a motor to unlock the door. I have to make some changes to it, um, but it's a good starting point. So something like this is probably what I wanna use. This is a pretty beefy titanium geared servo. Just like most servos, it has 180 degrees of stroke. This will be more than enough to articulate the deadbolt. Okay, now for the fun part, I'm gonna hop into Fusion 360 and I'm gonna try and design something that's gonna hold the servo where I need it to go and then print it out. Bracket made. 
Can we just appreciate for a second how awesome 3D printing is that I can just design this part and two hours later I have it and I can use it? People told me that when I first got a printer, it was gonna get old and it has not gotten old yet. And I've had a printer for like five years now. It doesn't get old. It's always cool. All right, I'm gonna rip up this support. There we go. Nice. And try mount the servo. I gotta add my heat set inserts and get this mounted on the door. And then we should be pretty set. Let's do it. servo all set up it's in its bracket it looks awesome but we still need to have it actually articulate the deadbolt to do this i'm going to drill two holes in the deadbolt and this is going to pretty much make a parallel linkage you'll see once i do it but here we go nice oh no i just broke my bit oh well at least i drilled my hole All right, so I was asking a lot of the Arduino's regulator, it's voltage regulator. I was putting nine volts in, and that is supposed to bring it down to five volts to actually run the Arduino, but I was also asking it to drive the entire servo motor, and sometimes you can get away with this. And I just did it this way just to see, and it turns out, God damn it. You can't. It got super hot, and the whole Arduino browns out and just like stops working. So instead, I'm going to use this guy. This is a five volt regulator. Uh, it's used on drones. It's really noisy, so it doesn't give you a very stable five volts, um, but it can put out like three amps or something, and it's really tiny. This is pretty much a really awesome butt converter. I'll take a higher voltage and step it down to a lower one. So I'll take my power supply, I'll feed it into this, I'll get a whole bunch of juicy five volts coming out the other side, and then my Arduino can rest easy not trying to power the entire servo motor by itself. been a couple days and I'm not happy. This whole thing going on here was a valiant attempt, but it is ugly. It is unreliable. It's a hack. And for getting into my apartment, I don't want a hack. I want something that's reliable. I'm sad just looking at it. Usually when I set this system up for my apartment, I try and do it in like weird funky ways and try and just like experiment with finding different ways to articulate my lock, but this is just not great. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and reuse as many parts as I can. I'm gonna try and do this again, and I'm gonna mount the servo directly on top of the deadbolt, and then I'm gonna print this little bracket thingy that will be able to tap the deadbolt into the lock and unlock positions. Also, no cabling, no drilling holes in my deadbolt, none of that janky crap. I usually say that if you're just like trying to make a solution work and just squeak by with it working sometimes, your whole approach is wrong. Like, you should never have to just try and make something work. If the approach is correct, it should just work and be reliable. But if it's not really, and obviously this only applies to some things, but I think this is a great example. If it's kind of working sometimes, maybe my approach is just crap. 
think that's the case. Now I'm gonna tear this jazz down, I'm gonna CAD some stuff, print some stuff, mount some stuff, do other stuff to some stuff, and then I'll be done. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. This one took me a couple tries to get right, but I'm glad I went back and I did it the way that I really think it should have been done. I obviously still have some wire management to take care of, but that's for a later time. When I mill a board for it, that'll clean up a lot of stuff. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more stuff like this, and I'll see you in the next one. Sneeze. Hey, Woo! Wow, that was a good one. Okay. <laughs>